Spooky Valentine here, or should I say Spooky Valentine since tis the season. I wanted to do another makeup transformation video for you since you were loving the Cleopatra video so much. I was thinking I would do a Disney princess and for some reason I thought why not Elsa? And then I realized she's a queen. I don't even know if she is a princess. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna take you through the beauty Elsa look first and then we are going to vampirize it. We're gonna make Elsa a vampire. And I kind of figured if Elsa were a vampire and she'd been into somebody's neck, I think she would turn their blood to ice first. So that's why we're working with some blue blood. Blue bloods, isn't that a show? And I apologize for the bootleg wig. I'll tell you all about it later on in the video. Let's get on with it. Now I know some of you are wondering, is that a spaghetti strap top or is she literally just wearing a bra? Honey, I would not do that to you. I am just wearing a bra, don't worry. To think, I would be decent and put on clothes for you? Honey, please, I'm not crazy. I'm gonna grab the lightest foundation that I have, obviously, to even look anything remotely like Elsa, and to also um, make myself look like a vampire. You can also add a little white face paint if you want um, to lighten your foundation even more. It just depends on how dead you, ooh, the Goodyear blimp is outside my window. That's gotta mean something good, right? We're gonna have a good year, folks. Come through, inner white girl, come through, yes. Next, I'm gonna set all the foundation on my face with the It Cosmetics Translucent Powder. So Queen Elsa has some pretty dark brown brows, which tells me that, that little hussy ain't a true blonde, all right? She's a bottle blonde. Just keeping it real, Elsa. So I'm just gonna shape my brows with a brush and the Ardell Brow Palette. Very long and thin and bushy. Literally, that's what she said. Elsa's brows actually go up a little bit in here, it kind of gives her more of a mischievous look. I just look worried. Don't I look like I'm worried about something? I'm taking a deep purple shade for my lid and I'm using an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush to just really pack it in on my lid. I'm gonna go with a brighter pink shade in my crease and now for some sparkle. I'm going to go in with this sparkly center light purple shade and wash that in the center of my lids. I'm gonna align my upper lid with a solid line, do a little bit of a cat. You guys can do a full cat if you want to. To make my eyes appear even bigger, I'm going to take white eyeliner. I'm gonna line the lower waterline of my eye with white, and then I'm gonna take some black liner coming in underneath my lid, and that will help connect everything together. I'm gonna do some heavy coats of mascara, and then I'm going to apply some drag queen sized lashes because Elsa be working, girl. You better work, queen. I'm going to take some corally pink blush and just give a generous amount of that on my cheeks. And to finish off the vomit of pink that is on my face, I am going in with the Biela, Biela, Bella Pierre Cosmetics lipstick. Thin pink lips, might I add. Oh, we can't forget those adorable little freckles that she's got that you can barely see. All right, so we are finally done with the glam version of Elsa. Cue that sexy slow motion footage. Of course, if you have some blue contacts, pop those in, and grab an Elsa wig. So this wig situation was such an epic fit. Let me let me find it. Like when I was in the store, like I saw Elsa and I snatched it. Like, snatched like a woman's weave who be going after your man. Just snatched and didn't look. And then I got home and realized it's the child's version ages three and over to be exact. The adult version is somewhere else. The struggle is real. What are these? Like, what are these supposed to be doing? <laughs> Just let it go. 
Let it go. It is time for Vampire Elsa. I'm gonna take the same pink shade that I used in my crease and start filling it in my bags and sweeping it out. This is going to give us a nice sunken in look and then I'm going to shade about halfway through with the dark purple that I used on the lid. Make sure that's all nice and blended out. And then I'm taking a charcoal, you can also use a black if you want, and I am shading my lower lid to really give that kind of skeleton deathly look. And I'm also gonna pack this on my upper lid to just even everything out. Now I'm taking a bit of a contour shade and I want to really hollow out the cheeks. I want to make this look really dramatic so that you look deathly and sickly in a sense, very undead-like. So I'm bringing it all the way down to my mouth and also sweeping it up my temples. And snatch the chin if you want, you know how we do. I'm also gonna bring some of that dark purple shade into my cheeks and really buff that out to bring in some of the Elsa pinky purpley colors into my face, doing the same on my temple and also on my nose. Then for the fun part, I am taking a dark blue shadow and a very thin brush and I'm drawing squiggly lines underneath my eye. These are going to look like veins. What you want to do is just load up your brush with the eyeshadow and then don't keep reapplying it because you want it to get lighter as it tapers off so that it looks very translucent and blends into your skin on the bottom ends of it. You can do as many or as few of these as you want and just draw a little squiggly they look like kind of tree branches coming off each other. I did some on my neck as well as my temple and some on my forehead. You can go nuts with this. Make sure everything is blended out. And then I just set it with some translucent powder and I'm going back in with the charcoal shade to make sure the veins look like they're coming from underneath the eyes versus over the top of the black. Next I'm going to add some charcoal lipstick to the pink that I was formerly wearing and blend that out to give us a nice kind of ghostly blue tone and then I'm packing some black eyeshadow in the center and then I have red blood but I wanted to make it blue because it's Elsa, it's frozen so I'm just dripping some food coloring down the side of my mouth. Now the angle of the first drip wasn't perfect but you guys get the idea and you can touch it up with a q-tip and you are good to go and if you think vampire Elsa should have dark hair then you can pull this off with a darker look if you liked this video why don't you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with a friend it would help me out so much make sure to uh, hashtag spanky valentine on all of your recreations I love you so much spooky smooches uh, 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 I want to ice stock your blood. Ugh. I want to suck your blood after it's frozen. I want to froze your froze your blood. I want to freeze your blood into an ice sculpture and then suck it. <laughs>